What is the PYP exhibition? It is a culminating project that marks the end of primary school years and provides students with an opportunity to showcase their learning in a meaningful way. Our students will have the opportunity to celebrate their learning with teachers, students, and families, and engage in interactive learning activities throughout the exhibition process. This is an excellent opportunity for our students to see how their action has an impact and can inspire their community. During step one, PYP exhibition students form teams and begin icebreakers and team building exercises. The purpose is to understand what motivates and demotivates each other and learn how each member works best. Groups also establish their essential agreements at this time, which are rules, norms, routines, and codes that are used to maintain an atmosphere conducive for teaching and learning. During step two, groups begin researching their inquiry and then sharing their findings and resources with other groups. In step three, students begin formulating their questions, creating their project, and diving deeper into research. And for those whose projects require conducting experiments, they also begin at this time. In step four, students create presentations and displays from their research findings. Lastly, students present their findings from their inquiries with families, fellow students, and visitors using a variety of creative methods, from modeling products to building pop-up stores. Welcome to our celebration of learning. Today we'll be explaining about our topic, which is discrimination. First, we'll be explaining about our three lines of inquiry. Mental health can affect physical health. People who have made a positive impact in people who have been discriminated. Countries with the most discriminated people. Essay about the cycle of poverty, which is a cycle that traps many people. And it works because 
some people that are more wealthy can afford education and then get good high risk high paying jobs that lead their families and their children and the following generations to have the same sort of life. And it's a really, and it's a cycle that's very secure and strong for them. And for people that live in poverty, this cycle is actually like, um, like life threatening could be. And we made an haiku based on our lines of inquiry. And for example, this one, um, we made, um, we wrote down in um, five, seven, five syllables, and um, we read it in um, um, Japanese. So, um, so we made it with colorful um, paintings, and um, one of our like basic concepts are being colorful or like being unique and onto personality. So we thought that making it colorful and like pastels can be like. Um, one way to describe this Hi, our topic is water pollution and please enjoy our exhibition. And also, before you go inside, it is free tickets to go inside.